I graduated with a baby at 17, y'all. At 17. Cause I dream of you, I pray for you, I'm grateful for your presence. I do not understand, but I feel like I'm in heaven because you, because you, baby, you, you are my heaven on earth. Because I dream of you, I pray for you, I'm grateful for your presence. I Welcome back, Double J Squad. I'm back with another YouTube video and right now Jada is asleep so that's why I'm kind of like talking a little, a little bit and this video will be about how to graduate within three or three and a half years okay because how to right now I'm going to give you a few tips on how to graduate in my experience so yeah Stay tuned. Yeah, so let me tell you about my experience in high school. My experience in high school wasn't, I wasn't, I was not a straight A student. I was not a misbehavior, I mean, a good behavior student. I wasn't none of that good stuff that would actually like qualify you to be done with high, to be done with high school within three point, within, you know, get done with high school early. We just gonna put it that way because some done in two years, some done. I don't know, but I wasn't that girl. Okay, I was your average, typical bad girl, especially my freshman and sophomore my year. Freshman year, I got suspended. I was constantly like constantly disrespecting teachers, all that. Especially my sophomore year, it was just really, really bad. I remember this like the back of my hand because it's. This one girl was a senior and I was a freshman in 2016 and she told me, she was like, Jamisha, do not focus on boys in high school. She was like, Jamisha, that should, that's like the last thing your mind should be on is boys. And I was like, you know, you know, I'm not going to focus on no boys. Like, I'm not going to focus on no, what I look like. I'm a whole freshman. Like, I know they want me. My mentality was really weird because, you know, all seniors want fresh just because fresh meat. So, yeah. And as you guys know, I ended up getting pregnant in my sophomore year of high school. So, I wasn't, you know. And honestly, if I could go back, I would change all of that. Except for my daughter. Like, my daughter is the one person I would not change. So it's like once I got pregnant, I started to like realize like okay, like like once it finally hit me, because when I first found out I was pregnant, I was like it didn't hit me. So what, like once it like finally finally hit me that I'm gonna have a baby, that's when I started changing my attitude. I had to change my attitude. I had to change my ways. I had to change everything about me because I didn't want this little girl growing up. Like, just like, I didn't want to start her off on the wrong foot because I'm still messing up. My junior year, after I had my baby, i like, I didn't even have a, because of Jade, well, I'm not going to put the fault on her, but because I got pregnant, I did not have a junior year, y'all. I didn't have no junior year. I spent, like, four months, maybe four months in school so this is um I ended up moving into where I'm at now in my school did had this thing called fast track and like fast track is like we do an online class and boom you get done with it my junior year once I actually went back to school I didn't um am I saying that right yeah once I actually went back to school to this new school i did not do none of like none of none, none i didn't do nothing because i was going to school for three hours so i was literally go there sleep be on my phone whatever i didn't do nothing i like felt all of those classes i had online and so my senior year i came back and i was like i got a plan because i was like i want to graduate early 
and how did it even I forgot who taught me well no because my school ended up my school is so bad at communication but <laughs> I end up going to a different school for a week so that's how all of the I can be done December and stuff started happening and realizing all that stuff so my senior year me I only did six classes like I only did like six classes because I had to get 11 more credits to graduate early so I was like I figure I don't want to stay at just I don't want to do another semester in school I can get out early all that so out of the 11 classes I did six in school six in school so I did five well the thing they used to call play-doh play-doh or apex i did play-doh in apex in apex and apex is just like play-doh but just more neater or whatever and a little bit more advanced so i did both of those i used to stay up and mind y'all i didn't in order for me to get done with school or just like school period as i told y'all i could not see my daughter well i didn't have my daughter on weekdays and that's what killed me because I get so used to her being with me 24-7 because that's my baby. And the fact that she was going with her dad, it killed me because she wasn't here with me because that's my baby. You know, I was used to having her majority of the time. So that honestly, y'all, that took a toll on me. I'm not even going to like flex. Like my motivation to get done early was my daughter. I had to get done for my daughter. Because I did not want to, I didn't want the same, like, I didn't want to not see her for, like, I didn't want to, I did not want to, um, you know, go without her for another week or whatever. So my motivation was Jada. She's asleep right now. Yeah, so that's my experience high school. How I would rate high school overall is pretty good because you just have to in high school you're going to drop friends in high school it's a lot of stuff going to happen in high school that you just wasn't that you didn't expect from middle school so yeah and I was honestly blessed with the opportunity because that school honestly like blessed like me me moving was the biggest blessing because I did not see me get done with high school I did not see that in my near future at all. I thought I was just going to be a normal high school student. Uh, yeah, but that was my high school experience and everything all in a nutshell. Now, let's get to the tips. Okay, so tip number one, baby. Do not focus on school. I cannot, cannot 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 stress this over stress is enough i cannot focus on school focus on all your classes okay especially your freshman year your freshman and your junior year is really what counts not your sophomore and your senior year. maybe your freshman and your junior year it's all that really like counts is all the college is gonna look at but they can look at your whole transcript overall but just like you know Focus as soon as you go into high school, y'all. Y'all need to focus. High school is critical. It's critical. You're gonna go through a lot of changes, regardless. No matter what, you're gonna go through a lot, a lot of changes. But focus on those classes. Focus on what you need, especially if you already know what you want to be. Once you get out of high school, keep on that path. Keep on that path, baby. Okay. My bad. Number. Join after school clubs. Join act, join sports. Join something to keep you busy. Because with me, I didn't I wasn't in any clubs. I wasn't well, I was in this one club called Mock Chayu, but I ended up stopping. I ended up not quit going. But I didn't like I didn't I wasn't in any clubs, so it wasn't like I had something to do after school. 
and I did it and so that's how me and my baby daddy start messing up. I wasn't in no clubs I wasn't in no type of sports I wasn't in nothing so when I got home I was done for the day and I was bored and so instead of me trying to think because I wasn't able to work either I was only 15 I wasn't able to work or anything so like that's how me and my baby daddy start messing around because I didn't have nothing to do and yeah anyways baby if you see this i love you so much love you Mwah. anyways anyways rule anyways. number three do not focus on no boys or no girls or whatever your sexual preference is do not do not focus on baby because as soon as you start high school i know it's gonna be tempting because everybody gonna have these boyfriends and these girlfriends and some people might start experiencing other things with their bodies because your body's growing and learning you know and don't put your focus on these boys and these girls because at the end of high school baby they still gonna be there they still gonna be there so just focus now i'm not saying like you can have a boyfriend or like girlfriend but don't really give it too much attention don't give it too much because don't let your mind how can i put it don't let your mind overflow with these boys and these girls, you know? Focus on school. Priority. Rule number four. Be cool. Get cool with the teachers. Get cool with the teachers, the, the principal, whatever you need to do. Get cool with them. Because your senior year, you're going to have to write, well, for some colleges. You're going to need references. All of that, baby. Get cool with them teachers. Get cool with whoever you need to get cool with, okay? Because guess what? They can write you a nice, good reference. And like me, I can honestly have one teacher I can honestly like really call on for reference, but because I wasn't really cool with none of my teachers in high school because I, I gave them a hard time. I did. I gave them a hard freaking time. And if I could go back and change it, I would. Have a social life. But yeah, that's, that's number five. Have a nice social life. But don't really give it too much attention. Hang around people who wants to see you do better. And I know for you incoming freshmen, you're not going to see that right away because you're all freshmen and you guys all excited. And you're walking in with like a big group of friends. You're like, baby, them friends not going to be there three years later. Some will. Now, some going to hang around. I'm not saying all of them going to leave. But some gonna hang around, but baby, most of them gonna be on a different path, and y'all just might be associates, but y'all not gonna be as close as y'all used to be, you know. So have a social life, but don't focus on it too much. Focus on your classes. Like I cannot, I cannot, I cannot stress this enough. You need to study in high school. You really need to study, okay? Because it's gonna be hard. Now me, I had a forgetful brain. Like I have one, I forget. Like I can forget I made this video. I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta post this video. My, I just forget stuff. And so me with studying, I didn't really study at all in high school, y'all. I did not study at all. I barely even like tried to do anything in high school. But I wish I would have studied because I would have got better grades and I would have never felt all them classes that I felt. You know? So study, 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 study. Study up. Study it. Study. Do what you, do what you need to do. Depending on what you want to do after high school, depending on your high school career, I want to get a job. Some people like to make money, but like me, I had a job in high school, but I have a daughter to provide for. But just don't, if you get a job, work really weekends because you're going to need like that week, especially if you have a lot of classes that you need to focus on. There is no, well, it, it's the way, but like you need to like have some time to study because how can you pass all those classes if you don't have time to study? If you have to go from work to home, I mean home, school to work, there is no time. Unless you want to be up at one o'clock in the morning, they got to get up at six whatever if you don't have a job work on weekends or 
work on weekends and work on holidays you all breaks you're all work around there but don't really like work in like don't really work while you went to school because it's it's no way but if you're that person you can handle work school all of that congrats to you i shout out to you because you're an amazing person you're really an amazing person is not there to make friends to make buddies to make bff school is not that school is there to learn get your classes done okay so you need to just do whatever you need to do to get your classes done and yeah that's pretty much all the tips that i have when graduating early you just have to apply yourself okay that's all it really is apply yourself apply 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 if you don't apply yourself you will not get nowhere you have to actually if you need help after school if you need tutoring after school get a tutor go get a tutor and i'm pretty sure that tutor will find some way if you're scheduled if you can't stay after school that tutor will find some way for you to manage okay they will find something they will do something but if you need a tutor go get one you need to pass on like an i step well i'm in indiana so we got i step and all that study for those big quizzes those big finals study for your finals study for everything i hate it i hate it. i took ice steps i step three times three freaking times but if i just would have studied i would have got it done the first time if i would have just studied and not pay attention on all the drama going on around me all with this boy thing and all oh, like this boy and how cute this boy is if i would have just ignored all of that and focus on what I need to focus on then I would have got done quicker and I wouldn't have to take those tests again I just think about it yeah yeah she just woke up y'all but I'm gonna put it back to sleep so yeah that's the key to success with high school focus 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 all you need to do is focus if you have the opportunity to do classes online I'm telling you do them classes online is so and so so much easier. Like I taught myself math, algebra. I taught myself algebra and I passed with the B minus. I'm done with this video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from. And yeah, so I can finally tell you, I made high school graduate. I graduated with a baby at 17. Somebody give me a round of applause. I agree. graduating early is honestly a blessing because I was never me, me out of all people got down to high school and some people, so for everybody that doubted me, screw y'all, I made it and my next step for after high school is I'm going to be an esthetician at probably Paul Mitchell or Empire for this video. Double J Squad. Wait. Peace. I'm out. I do not understand why I feel like I'm in heaven because you, baby, you, you are my heaven on earth.